For this problem analysis, a full wave diode rectifier circuit is driven by a 60 hertz sine wave, and so we can actually note down this information. First is our 60 hertz sine wave. We have a peak value of 17 volts. If the low resistance circuit drive is 8.2 kilo ohms and the maximum ripple voltage, so this is going to be like VR, allowed at the output is 0.12 V peak to peak, then what must the minimum value be for the filter capacitor in microfarads? So this is what we want to find, the minimum value for our filter capacitor. And so if we look at this, we know that we've looked at full wave and actually we've only looked at half wave before we've mentioned full wave. And they're basically the same thing. The only difference is that for a half wave, we have these parts underneath and for a full wave, we have these little hills. None of them are underneath the T axis. So full wave is what we're going to be using. We have the question asking us for a full wave diode right here. So when we want to find this, we want to find for our C. First thing that we're going to look at is our frequency. So this is what we're given here, frequency. Now these two equations look separate for frequency. One has T, one has F. But remember that T is just equal to one over our frequency. The period is just one over frequency. So we could rewrite the first one as VR is equal to VP. This is being multiplied by one. And then we have our two times our R times our C times our F, which is the frequency. And so now what we're gonna want to do is obviously move our C over. And so we can move this over as well because we want to solve for our C. So our capacitance is gonna be equal to, we have our VP, this will be divided by, our VR is gonna go underneath because we divide both sides by it. And then we have our two RC, or not RC, because our C is on the other side now. We have our frequency here. And our frequency, we can just replace with 60 because we have 60 hertz inside of here. We're going to combine like terms, which is these two. We're also going to plug in some other values. So our VP, which is the peak value, this is the maximum that it can be, is going to be this 17 volts right here. So that is going to go into here. Now another thing that we can look at is our VR. Remember we said the ripple voltage right here is going to be this 0 0.12 peak volts peak to peak. So this is going to go into here 0 0.12 and this is obviously 17. Our resistance is the next thing that we're going to look at and our resistance is our value right here 8.2 kilo ohms. So inside of here we're going to have 8.2 times 10 cubed, because the kilo is 10 to the cubed. And this is going to give us a capacitance value of approximately 1.44 times 10 to the negative fourth. So we're just using this equation that we were given right here, modifying it a little bit, and plugging in our values after we looked at the problem very carefully. Now, we're not done yet, because we note that this is in microfarads, so it wants the answer in microfarads. That means, since this capacitance um, is in farads, that's the unit for capacitance, we need to multiply it by one micro, and this is over 10 to the negative six, because that's the equivalent for it. So we can take what we have here and then divide it by 10 to the negative six, and this is gonna give us approximately 143.97, and this is in far micro farads. So we've made the conversion after we solved our problem, and that is gonna be the answer for this problem and how we would go about looking at full wave rectifiers and anything like that.